It's another way that the Prophet ﷺ has taught us to react. You know, Abu Sufyan, before he was a Muslim, he was the leader of the Meccans, the Meccan army. And prior to him being a leader, he was one of the top leaders. But after the death of Abu Jahl, etc., he became the leader. He prepared an army to come back to attack Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the Meccans had sent a huge army to come and attack. And the Mu'mineen were small in number, 313, small number. They were not even prepared with their own weapons. And what happened? The army had come forth and they were coming. Someone got to Muhammad ﷺ and told him that Abu Sufyan and them are coming. And this is the condition upon which they are coming, which means they're heavily armed. You know what? Allah mentions this in the Quran. Allah says, do you remember the time when the people came to the messenger وسلم, and told him that those people are coming? Those people are coming. You need to be scared of them. You need to fear them. You need to watch out for them. And what did... The Prophet ﷺ do. What happened to the true believers? Allah says, it increased their conviction. It made them firm in their faith. And they said, Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us. And he is the best disposer of our affairs. My brothers, my sisters, when Allah closes a door for you, and a second door, and a third door, and a fourth door, it is because the fifth door will lead you to a place way beyond the first four doors. You have to be convinced. You tried something, Allah closed the door, you came out again. You tried something, Allah closed the second door. And the third, whether it was a marriage and you ended up divorced once, twice, thrice. Some, some of the brothers and sisters, especially the sisters who've been divorced more than twice, they will tell you, I've given up. Now I'm not going to marry. Why? Perhaps the next man or the one after the next man will be such a lovely person that you'll forget about the other five characters that you were married to. Yes. But if you stop, that's where everything stops. You gave up, that's where your hope stops. You lost a job, a second one, a third. You applied one, they didn't accept it, they rejected it. One, two, three, four, five. I applied for ten jobs. No one's giving me a job because Allah says, you know what? The twelfth one is actually a mega, mega deal. Subhanallah. That's why we don't want you to get these ten. But after five, you're giving up. What's happening? You are doing something wrong. Don't react in that way. A reaction of giving up hope is not part of the dictionary of a mu'min, a believer, does not give up hope. When something happens, you suffered a loss today, a loss tomorrow, one year, business is not going right, two years, something is going wrong. For as long as you did not give up hope and you keep thanking Allah and you keep trying, trust me, five years later, that multi-million dollar deal that people were waiting, notice I said dollars, not rands, that people were waiting for, subhanallah, came to you. But what happened the five years? You struggled. Suddenly you shot up to the top. That was Allah. Why? You reacted with hope. In the face of that, which would have brought about hopelessness to those who don't believe. Allahu Akbar. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for me, for us. And he is the best disposer of our affairs. Allah says, the verse after that, what a beautiful verse. فَانْقَلَبُوا Allahu Akbar Allah says as a result of that conviction that they had and the dua that they made حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ we actually converted for them whatever there was in terms of fear that they may have been or may have been warned about into a beautiful coolness a calmness success and victory